jack it up. No, I don't want to kill Okoda. No. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good, that I am good. When, when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. I know and that feeling. I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something, I really felt like I'd done something good. Like, like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and, and maybe didn't like themselves and I could fix it. Yeah. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. And they told me how much they enjoyed his games. It was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy. Yeah. So beautifully, beautifully happy. So anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011. And I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email. And it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower. And to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. So let's take a look. Oh boy. I know his pain though. All right. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. It's a very cold game. It is. It's very cold. This room actually has a maze in it. Oh my goodness. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. Yeah, no the game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. Mm -hmm. But I do want to show you the rest of the level. So when you're ready to continue, press enter and I'll put a bridge over the maze. Okay. And to be fair, it's not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. I wouldn't have mind that. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. Mm -hmm. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? Maybe he feels like... He's invisible to people, or... The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six-digit code. Like the Invisible Maze, it's frustrating to me, because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me, except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. Crap. I think it's because he actually wanted... Sometimes people can't reach out to other people, and they can't... 
they just can't physically do it, so they do it through whatever they do. So... I don't know, it's my thought. This is a pit. Oh, okay. The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. And it's scary for me, the idea of Koda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me any way to fix the problem. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem. No one really can, I can open this door for you, so let me do that. Koda is the only one who can actually fix himself. Was I a failure for not understanding this game? No. I, mean, I don't know why I wouldn't be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution, but I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed, and I don't understand why. I remember, it's June of 2011. I'm playing this for the very first time, and as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew. It wasn't my friend. No, that's what it... I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years, I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. That's what I was thinking the whole time. And he wouldn't. I knew. I knew it was something to do. I knew it. I knew it. Three dots mean something. <gasps> That's pretty. I knew the three dots meant something. I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. You can't. No. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. But he stopped and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. But you didn't. Where did I screw up? I'm the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? It's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. No. No. I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt it felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. Oh, so he didn't want to... And the people who played them, they treated me like I was important. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even oh. though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally. For a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. He's adding Lampo? He's adding Timmy? What? And then you stopped. And I didn't have anything left to show people. I, I just had to be with myself. And as soon as that happened, there was no feeling at all. Nothing. Less than nothing. 
What does that mean? It's not? that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. And I finally... Don't say anything. Dude! Dude. Dude. That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything. And so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, will you start making games again? Please. I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? No. Because I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. No. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. And I want to know how to, how to, I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading, and all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. <sighs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. All right. It's a clock with no hands. Okay. I understand though what he means. More, 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 more love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. It is. I get it, because you can't feel it yourself. I get it. Solution. 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 I understand he wants to try and feel it, but he can't. I guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. I thought so too. Maybe he just likes making prisons. Maybe. Even now, the disease is telling me to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. They'll yeah. hate you. You're not shitty. No. No, I'd never hate you.
Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> If depression was, like, a thing, this is kind of how I would picture it. Kind of just dark, very alone. If I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, what would that even be? <laughs> it's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. I understand. Kind of what he feels. What now? I think I need to go. And I'm sorry, because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do. On yourself? And a lot that I need to make up for. And so I'm just gonna. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. I can figure this out. Man, it hurts me because I know how he feels. Ugh, okay. All right. Here's a home. Wee. And this gives me the feel so hard. Ugh. back long hallway oh man I still want to know what the three dots mean though still want to know. Isn't that the beam of light that I had to... That is the beam of light. It is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, no choice but to throw myself on in here. Sorry guys for any background noise. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. So beautiful. Oh. It's just so pretty.
Oh my god, guys! Wow! Oh my goodness. I did not expect that. Well. Wow. Oh my god, it's so crazy! So he wanted to just feel something. I think his name is Davey. He, he wanted to just feel something other than what he feels and he just wanted to he wanted to you know feel happy and feel something other than what he actually really is which is alone and he feels horrible and oh my god wow <laughs> wow okay well thank you guys so much for watching this playthrough and um keep on like you know wow all right so <laughs> that's the beginner's guide i did not expect that all right well i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i love you guys so much bye